Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about Newman, which is the CLI companion for Postman. So this far, what we have done is we have created collections inside that collection. We have created folders and inside those folders, we have created multiple requests. And on each request, we have written some scripts and tests. And this far, we have seen how can we execute uh, request using two ways one is you run the request individually but by clicking on the send button and if you want to run your complete collection you open the collection runner right and that's a UI of postman from where you execute your complete collection now what Newman offers is whatever you can achieve through your collection runner using the UI right you can achieve the same using the command line with the help of Newman okay and we have also uh, briefly talked about monitors so monitor is again a service from postman through which you can schedule uh, your apis and that way you can come to know the health of your apis uh, every time there's a failure it is Im immediately reported to you uh, and you can go to the dashboard and check the health also okay so yeah uh, just uh, 10 more seconds on this so you have your REST API, you use Postman to write, uh, you know, set up your request, write tests on that. And with the help of Newman, you're going to automate your Postman, right? And with the help of Jenkins, so when you write those command lines, you can execute those command lines using Jenkins and then you can schedule that. So basically you can add your API testing into your CI CD pipeline. Okay. So what I've done is I've essentially created this uh, series into uh, four different parts okay in part one we are we are going to so introduction to Newman is kind of already done so we'll be uh, seeing the prerequisite to Newman we have to install node.js and Newman all right and then the next step that we are going to do is we are going to export a collection and going to run that from Newman CLI okay so that's what we are going to cover in this video all right so let's switch to postman and in interest of time because you already know how to create a collection so what I've done is I've created this collection okay and I've added two requests inside that these are simple requests so the first step that you have to do is you have to run your request from here just to check that everything is working then the second step is you have to run these through your collection runner so that everything works right you don't need to follow these exact steps but if you're a beginner right then make sure that you have set up everything's correctly uh, so you now you see that in this iteration all both the requests are executed all right so at least the setup part is correct now next thing that we have to do is okay so you have to have node.js installed on your system now from where you can install it so all you have to do is node.js okay so click on this first link it's a bad gateway what's wrong with that okay node download yeah at least this one is working that's fine so install the latest stable release okay so click on that you see that it is available on different uh, operating systems windows mac os linux and all so do the installation once this is installed open your command prompt okay and do one thing check for node hyphen hyphen version so if you see version in here you're good with node we also get npm so also check the version of npm okay so that is also installed now as a next step what you have to do is you have to install newman right so let's do one thing let's open one more website uh, postman newman postman get up okay open this first link and this is the documentation for Newman so as you could see Newman is the CLI companion of Postman okay so what we have to do this is how we are going to install Newman globally means when you install this when you use this hyphen G so what you are saying essentially is that make sure that Newman is available to me throughout the system. Okay. If he wants 
want to install it at a particular location means to a specific location locally then just remove this flag all right if you are a beginner this is what i will recommend if you've already worked on uh, node projects then you know what you have to do okay now let's come to the usage part okay so this is how we have to use it so so this is the minimum version that you must have onto your system and this is how you're going to install Numen. okay and what's next so usage of Numen. so there's essentially two ways you can run your collection using Numen. in this one we are going to cover the first one okay so let's do one thing the first step is we need the collection json okay so how can i export the collection json all right so for that you have to come here click on these three buttons and click on the export one select the latest one click on export and let's save it here okay and and yeah so now change directory to okay so let us go there and then what we have to do is we all have to do is new main run and here we have our json right so what's the name of it this okay so all you have to do is and i'll use one more flag and I'll tell you what this is since my uh, website is running on HTTPS and I'm not passing anything from uh, any certificate from here uh, so on the UI it is working because I have this setting turned on so SSL certificate verification is off to do the same from your uh, command line this is the flag that you have to use and if I hit enter So you see it is successfully getting executed what if i don't use this flag right so you see the error unable to verify the first certificate all right so what we have done is we have covered everything from part one all right so thank you i'll see you in the next video